this is an uh, an analysis of um, various effects here. Th this particular study looks into the effect of fasting on performance in a software development task, passing through uh, the mediating effects of alertness and stress. Experience here is um, experience in the development of software. So when I take a look at the indirect effects here, I see that they that indirect effects for paths with two segments are shown together. So if I wanted to isolate this particular mediating effect here, I would have to employ a simple procedure which is described in this demo uh, because currently if I look at indirect effects uh, this mediating effect will be combined with this one. So when we look here at indirect effects for paths with two segments we see that there are two paths with two segments. I want only path, only one path to be isolated. So what I need to do is to isolate this path with two segments here uh, to calculate the, the, this mediating effect and uh, its uh, p-value without, alt without altering the coefficients associated with it. In order to do that, I have to remove this path of two segments here in a way that does not alter the coefficients. Note that this coefficient depends on this one here, so I cannot remove this particular segment, but I can remove this one without any effect on the uh, coefficients associated with this path with two segments. So that's what I'm going to do. Close out of here. I'll define my model. Here I will go to the option direct links and I will de delete this direct link here. I will save. I will now redo the analysis without changing any settings. And now, when I go to the indirect and total effects, and I look at the indirect effect for path two segments between fasting and performance, now I have only one path with two segments, which is this one here. And I can obtain the p-value associated with it, which is uh, statistically significant at uh, the 0 0.01 level. So this uh, concludes this demo that shows how one can isolate a mediating effect in warp PLS.